The iconic Sorong Kebaya uniform has been a part of the Malaysian Airlines since its establishment. Being the flag carrier of Malaysia in the airspace, every design decision done to its uniform is done according to a singular purpose, to accentuate the Malaysian spirit. Over the years, it has transcended into more than a part of the airline's branding. It has become the embodiment of the rich culture and traditions of Malaysia. The batik motifs and design elements of local flowers reflects a nation's pride in its distinctive identity and remarkable diversity. It personifies both grace and modesty of the flight attendants who wear the uniform. Simply put, the Kabaya uniform is the manifestation of the Malaysian heritage taken to the air. Nonetheless, there exists a special kind of people in Malaysia who enjoy demanding for special needs. On some days, they will demand for the right to marry children, and on the others, they complain that the Kabaya wearing professionals are too menjolok matter for them and want them replaced. It's bewildering how a symbol that specifically incorporates the values of grace and modesty manages to somehow outrage a group of lawmakers who can be so open-minded towards pedophilia. These people are the leaders and representatives of some of the poorest states in Malaysia. They need to get their priorities right. In the recent years, they had consistently made the wrong fixations that had brought zero progress to their constituencies. Stop dragging in your religion into the country's politics and then get offended because someone else successfully makes a counter-argument. Religions are not political tools. Religions do not make one a representative of God in the parliament. Religions do not exist just to make one feel important and untouchable. In your hurry to be more exponentially more Arabic, you have discarded the unique Malaysian Muslim culture you are born to. To this, the Sultan of Johor said, and I quote, If there are some of you who wish to be an Arab and practice Arab culture, and do not wish to follow our Malay customs and traditions, that is up to you. I also welcome you to live in Saudi Arabia. Additionally, for your information, numerous Arabic airlines incorporate uniforms that exposes the neck, hands and shins. It is more important that the cabin crew uniform conforms to the safety standards and guidelines established by the International Civil Aviation Organization, rather than to protect the ridiculous sensibilities of some lecherous <laughs> men who seem turned on by just about anything.